From how to properly dice an onion to getting the juiciest steak, and today, one of my favorite dishes when I head to Vegas. That's right. John and Uncle Sam have you covered in tips in a pinch. <laughs> now, eat this. Uncle Sammy. Money. Tips in a pinch with Sam and John. What are we doing today, Uncle Sam? Well, uh, actually, uh, we're going to be making a chapino. Uncle Sam, I don't know if you know this or not, but chapino is one of my absolute favorites. Every time we go to Vegas, we go to Palace Station, we go to the Oyster Bar. It doesn't matter what time we fly in, morning, noon, nighttime. Chapino is what I get. Kelly gets the pan roast, but chapino is one of my favorites. Uh, this is one of my favorite dishes to make too because it's so simple. You know what I mean? The word, the, the word chipino sounds more classic than the, the dish itself. You know, the dish, the dish itself, it's a seafood stew, basically. Okay. I got some uh, olive oil and some garlic that I kind of just roasted in the pan. About a half a cup of uh, celery. And then I'm going to add the onions, sliced. It's kind of like getting this going. So really, the magic or the secret of making a chirpino is kind of building the layers of flavor. So we got the garlic. I kind of roasted it so it gets a nice little nutty flavor. So that's just like making a soup with all these nice seafood. A little more olive oil. You don't have to have, you know, like dust enough. You can put a little more because at the end, after we're done, I'm going to float a little bit more on the top. And that's like adding the final touch to it, you know? Fennel, it's like eating a uh, licorice. Yep, that is exactly how it tastes, like licorice. Uh, you can bite on it, tastes just like licorice. We use it actually, the seeds, in our Italian sausage. And, and actually, this is really what makes it too, the fennel right there. Okay, I want to have more olive oil because that be, if you can see, the vegetables are absorbing it all. So by the time for this amount, you probably end up with a cup of uh, olive oil. Now I'm going to add my tomato sauce, and I add diced tomatoes. Why do you use diced tomatoes? Oh, uh, just to add some, you know, uh, add a little texture to it. Okay, so now I'm going to add some clam juice. Time for clam juice. You said some clam juice, a little clam juice. You look like you're using the whole bottle there. Well, that's only um, eight ounce, eight fluid ounces. Okay. So the recipe is really simple. So now we're gonna bring it up like uh, like a soup, bring it to a boil. Then I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper. I got a nice salt blend here. If you taste this and it tastes good, it's like fantastic. But when you add the seafood, that's when the flavor just takes it to another level. Okay. And that, that's why they say Chiopino, it's important to use fresh seafood. So we got fresh. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add the shrimp, lobster, Kona waters, we have a shotomi, and a nice uh, uku, gray snapper. You could add like crab legs and a whole bunch of stuff to this, couldn't you? I mean, you got, you got, you got all of that. You can add all of that. I bet, oh, the, man, John. I bet the house smells wonderful. This, this and a nice French bread or oh. garlic bread, you got a winner right here. Green tip mussels, clams, so I'm gonna add the clam juice, whatever's left. That, I mean, look at that. That just looks amazing. Ah, amazing. I wanna cover it. How long, are you, how long are you gonna let that sit there? Uh, that we can let it simmer for about five minutes. As soon as it comes up to a rapid boil, it's done. Because ah. you don't want to, um, you know, overcook the seafood. You want it all nice and moist. Here's our finished product. Five, seven minutes. Beautiful. Oh. Oh. Man. A little green onions. Green onions. So fennel tops. Looks sweet. Little olive oil. I turn the fire off. Okay. Little, little olive oil. And there we have it. And I'll be right over. Your fennel seafood stew. Tips in a Pinch with Sam and John is brought to you by these fine sponsors. The fish, the cubes of that uh, shatomi, just yeah. Yeah, it's like eating a piece of butter. It just melts oh. in your mouth.
Here, let me let me share it. I see food and I want to eat it. Oh. Now eat this. Who makes you want to go make some chipino, doesn't it? <laughs> chipino. I want to say, listening to Uncle Sam talk about food is equivalent to me listening to Beyonce sing. Like, it's just music to my ears and art to my eyes. Yes, I, I, <laughs> see, I, I like the, I like what you did there. It's always it's coming profound. back around to Beyonce. But you know what, Uncle Sam has been asked. He was just recently yeah. asked. Do you ever get tired of cooking? Simple. Nope. He doesn't. Of course. He doesn't ever get tired. And he's really good at it, I think. I think he's pretty good at it. And and what's the what's the um, social media accounts that people can follow for more at um, Sam tips? Choi's in the kitchen. Check it out there. We're gonna burr, post burr, some burr. stuff there. We'll also post stuff on Living Aid Weight TV.